Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. Yep, got the hat to prove it right there. Why does my voice carry so loud where I'm standing? I don't know, it's ricocheting off of this Cadillac that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. But we're back at IAA in Tulsa, Oklahoma to show you some of the cool cars and trucks and boats and RVs and semis and ATVs that you can park in your driveway. Lots and lots of vehicles to choose from. And I gotta tell you, I'm being drawn to these Cadillac Escalade EXTs for some reason. This is the second one that I've seen and I am greatly intrigued by this. So let me show you what I found. Here she is on a beautiful Monday here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 2004 Cadillac EXT with some uh, aftermarket headlights, little damage right there on the front fender, a little ding right there on the back of the fender, some scratches, it's 2004. Okay, so it's 20 years old. It's got a little dent right there. Tires look okay. Little dings and scratches everywhere. That's interesting right there. Gigantic Hankook tires. These are cool cars. Not the best reputation, but it's okay. The bed is actually kind of smallish. You couldn't get, you know, a big old piece of plywood in there. You could throw some things in there, but it's it's not as big as a regular pick em up truck. <laughs> You also get some some buckshot, I guess. Look at this. This is nice. Let's just leave these in the back of the car. Wow. Okay. Look at that. 12 gauge. Yay. How many? Oh, there's more. Okay. We're just gonna leave those like I didn't. I never saw those. Didn't see that. Don't know what those are. Don't know what they're for. But they're 12 gauge shotgun shells. Anyway, looking at the damage. A couple of scratches right here. All the tires are holding air. A little, you rubbed into something red there. Little bumps and bruises. Here comes the red again. So we're gonna give her a B for the damage on the outside. Nothing major. Some dents right here, cracks right here. This is broken. All easily fixable. Let's see what the inside is like because it's gonna be loaded. Someone's been in here too. Lots of people come out and take a look at these Horrible, disgusting, dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Car, look at this. Okay. Oh, this is sad. Even the. Yow. Okay. Well, this is in a little better condition. She was used. She was very well used. <sighs> okay. Well, this is the older version of the Cadillac Escalade EXT. I kind of like the newer ones myself. Let's just see what's happening. You get an old school clock, really dirty. I don't really like touching all this stuff. Look at all that's been living in there. Oh, and a big old two pound fishing weight. This is an outdoorsman's truck. Hunting and fishing is what he did. Didn't do a whole lot of cleaning. He saved his money though. Yeah. Ooh. This a mess. And there's Yeah, let's just kind of see what's going to happen here. This is really dirty. That's this is very unfortunate. The rest of the headliner is okay. Oh my goodness. Old style steering wheel, a little bitty tiny airbag. You got some glasses up front, some little to protect your eyes as you're working on your car. A little everything. Okay, let's see. Oil was changed 723 of 22 at 158,000 miles. Okay. They went to the Walmart for that. So this was serviced at the Walmart. Look how these. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, this is a, this is a hot mess right here. This is a hot mess truck. I don't even know. Let's look at the engine. All right, here's what she looks like underneath. I think she's missing part of her cover. You got an old Duralass battery. It's not a pretty engine. It's really not. Do we have any antifreeze in this thing? Yeah, there is some in there. 
Let's see what the oil looks like. Oh. She's got lots of oil. Look at that. Way more when, than she's supposed to. I guess. Let me see. Yeah, she's got way more oil than she is supposed to have. So apparently something could be mixing with the oil, which would be like a head gasket. But who am I to bad mouth a Cadillac? Yeah, that's... Mm. Okay. Well, I think we're going to take a hard pass on this one. I don't think she was very well maintained. This is really dirty too. Yep. All right. So the hunt will continue. Okay. Are you interested in an SUV that won't cost you a lot in parts? Well, Mike, what the heck are you talking about? This car needs lots of parts. Wait till you see what's inside the vehicle. Yeah. So we're missing headlights, bumper, grill. I love how this opens and closes. What else would we be missing? Fog lights, turn signals, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. I walked right by this and then I saw something in the window that caught my attention and I just had to investigate. And that's why this vehicle is on this video for my channel. Yep. Take a look at this. Everywhere else, it's fine. Okay. This is a new car. You need a uh, windshield. Tires, of course, they're going to be brand new. Love the wheels. I really like the wheels. No damage, no damage, no damage. There's nothing wrong with the car. Four-wheel drive, XLT, loaded, 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 with very, very little damage. Yeah, it's just what happened in the front. And it doesn't look to be too severe because this bar isn't damaged. Even this isn't damaged. And this was sticking out in front of the reinforcement right there. Okay, hood still latches, wheel well liner, still lining the wheel well. Let me show you the big surprise though. Are you ready? What could be inside that would make Mike walk right to this vehicle? Oh, oh parts. Look at all of these parts. These are Ford parts. All kinds of parts. This, the, the whole car's full of these things. See, there's some electrical connectors in there. What is this on top? This is part of your grill right there. Big boxes, small boxes, new parts, new parts, new parts, new parts. And a little gecko guy on your window. That's cool. I like that a lot. Let's talk about the interior damage. This is where it gets kind of iffy because the airbag has blown. You're going to need to fix this right here. And I don't know if the whole, yeah, see, you'll have to get another, unless you can kind of fix that right there. You may need a dash. And I don't know what that is right there. It looks like bird poop. It really does. You're missing some of the controls right here. A pillar, that was back behind me. I saw that and there's power. Okay, you need this airbag too. And then both airbags on the seat, but she's got power. So let's kind of give her a start and see what happens. 24,000 miles. Hood is ajar. Engine coolant over temperature. See manual. Front camera system service required. Pre-collision assist not available. Check engine light is on. Tire pressure monitor light is on. So we do have lots and lots and lots of error codes in that whole engine coolant over temperature. Maybe it's just not plugged in. Maybe they took it out. I don't know. Let's, let's check it out. Let's go and look under the hood. We've got a pull. Pull X2. Okay. Everything he needs in the car. Everything's included. It's like a all-you-can-eat buffet in the car world. Everything you need. There we go. She's running a little rough though, which is kind of bizarre to me. Um, for a new engine with 25,000 miles. So I hope 
Well, we don't have any coolant. That could be the issue. Did it overheat after the accident? I don't know. Anything leaking out of the bottom? No. No. But I don't want it to get hot. So very quickly, let's just kind of do this and see what's in the back here. Where do you push this thing? Is it this kind of thing? Do you do this for these cars? I don't even know. Here we go. Open Sesame. Depot, there's your headlights. Holy guacamole. All these parts come with it. This is crazy. Ford parts, Ford parts, Ford parts, Ford parts everywhere. Wow. And close. Look at that. All right, so this would be a big risk. But you get a whole thing of parts. And the engine sounds to be a little better now. You know everything's gonna work. It's a new freaking car, so this is super nice. Have we found a diamond in the rough? I don't know. Oh, and they listen to praise music. Okay, that's good. That is good. All right. Well, what do you guys think about this one? I like the seats, I do. I haven't really talked about the interior. They're comfortable. I like them in the two-tone black and gray. With the white, it's nice. It is really, really nice. But because of this coolant thing, I'm gonna turn her off. And look at that. That was pretty. Check rear seat for occupants. Don't leave your kids in those cars, folks. Finally, how about a 2016 Audi with one wheel? It's a good looking car. You're just missing three of your four wheels and maybe some lug nuts. Yeah, there's your, you got a spare. The spare is there, but none other, none of the other wheels are included in the purchase of the car, unless there's one in the trunk. This is, it's literally sitting on blocks of wood. Interior looks to be really nice, and it's kind of cool. S-Line, yeah, so she's a little faster than your average Audi. This is a good looking little car. And little, it looks teeny tiny sitting all the way on the ground. Let's look at the interior and see what she's like. 2016, black over black over black with a little bit of a chrome accent. And look at this, cool, coolio. Whoever was driving this thing was way back. They were sitting way, way, way back. Yeah, I thought this was a stick shift when I first got in here, but it's an automatic. Parking brake is electric. This is kind of cool. Got a huge moonroof right here. This is really nice. This is a fun little car for, for I won't say, you know, hipsters, but yeah, it's for hipsters, I think. Let's see what the engine looks like. I think that loosened it up. Here we go. Voila. And there's the reason nothing's working. They took out the battery. Gosh, this engine seems kind of low too, but your engine mount is still all attached. I guess because there's just no wheels underneath it. Oh, how would I even... How would you even get this moved? You'd have to bring like some blocks. Oh, that's it's really black, but it's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Is there coolant? I don't think there's coolant. Let's see. No. She is as dry as can be. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean she just lost the coolant and then they turned off the engine before the head gasket blew? Or are there other issues? Oh, gosh. There we go. 
See any foaming or anything funky? There's a little piece of grass or something right there. I'll get rid of that. That looks fine. I don't know. Oh. Ooh, this is something to think about. You'd have to get wheels and tires and a battery as far as damage. No. Maybe this is just like a theft recovery. Theft. Yes. Someone stole it. It was so nice. Someone took it. Took it for themselves. Oh. Oh my gosh. This was owned by a hobbit. What the heck? Okay. This is nice. This is a nice little stick. So it wasn't a hipster. It was a guy that needed a hip. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Nice. That's cool. This isn't going to open at all because there's no power. Yeah. So we do need three, four wheels. We got a spare already. But this is a nice little car. Hmm. What do I do? I mark it down and I watch the auction. That's what I do. It's exactly what I do. Is there anything back here that I can see? Nope, it's empty. It's empty. Well, who'd have thunk? A Hobbit had an Audi A3 S-Line. Super fast, super cool. Gorgeous looking grill right there. I love those. This is nice. This was a beautiful car back in the day and that's why somebody took it. But they just took the wheels. And the battery. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. What do you think about it? What do you think about uh, the other cars as well? Let me know. The hunt continues. Folks, thank you for watching these little walk around videos. We are getting dirty with our hands. Once again, we're continuing to work. And yes, I'm bringing a car back to the channel that hasn't been on the channel for far, far, far too long. So you want to stay tuned for that. It's a teeny tiny little car. It's a teeny tiny itty bitty little midget kind of a car and i'm not saying that in a bad way i'm saying it's an mg midget yeah coming back to the channel got some working to do on that so have a good day everybody thanks for watching again please subscribe and we'll see you very very soon bye bye say goodbye to the audi